So right now on the screen, you can see the, this four by three grid. I'm gonna begin interacting with it. And um, we're gonna do a close up of my eyes so you can watch my eyes as I interact. And hopefully this all works. Okay, so here we go. So first of all, can you see my eyes? Have we brought that up? Okay, is it working? Can you see my eyes? I'm gonna begin moving. Um, I'll just put this in my pocket. Okay, so right now, I'm moving my eyes around. Okay, I'm gonna move counterclockwise. Okay, hands in my pocket, I'll keep my hands out. There's no clickers, there's no voice. So I'm just gonna move counterclockwise consistently one by one. The airplane, photo gallery, uh, health records, um, eye gaze, a grid, settings, uh, uh, gaze casting, a checklist, weather, uh, texts, and retail. Would someone like to tell me something to look at, please? Retail. Retail, the shopping cart, something else. Airplane. Uh, the airplane. I heard weather as well. By the way, notice if I choose to, I can go from corner to corner like this. And right now, watch my eyes because I'm going to move between the red cross and the, uh, the eye. And I'm just moving my eyes back and forth. And can you see my eyes shifting? Dave, can you see them? Sure can. Okay, great, thanks. So now the question is, so here I am and I want to interact. So for instance, let's go to the airplane. Okay, so what I can do is launch the airplane and find out what time there's a flight from, say, Reno to Hawaii. On the other hand, um, let me go home again. And if you watch my eyes, you'll see them moving around. Let me check the weather there. And um, it's a nice 81 degrees in Maui. It's 55 low an hour ago. Let me check this out. I'm going to go home again. In the upper right corner, there's a photo album. And um, there, I've got some pictures. So you can see in the upper left corner, this is a favorite picture of mine. Um, there's my wife on the right side. This is our team after we closed our Series A. We, my wife and I took our team to Hawaii. We had some partying. And while we were over there, I'll zoom into the next picture. You can see we were on a hike, on a hike in a bamboo forest. And um, also, at our office, everywhere in the office, we have everyone's picture with their eyes with a, some notes beneath it. Um, if I want to, I can change pages. And here's an interesting one. There's some people on our team. By the way, I'm doing all this, as you can see, with my eyes. No winking, no waiting just eye contact. So in this case, there's some people. I'm gonna pull down a menu and I'm gonna turn on recognition. So now I can see, oh, there's Steve, there's Ben, and uh, there's Zoe. And anytime I want to, as you've seen, I can just return home. So let's try a couple other things. Uh, now we're talking about, we've got social, enterprise, consumer. In this case, I'm a doctor and I wanna be hands-free. So there's Eric, and I wanna check out Eric's charts. Protocols, insurance, confidential information. There's current conditions, so why is he here? Well, he tells us that, so I'm reading right now. Notice, I'm reading Eric Johnson, ID 100668, description left, severe pain in left foot, test. He had a test done with an x-ray. Um, let's take a look at that x-ray. Ah, so he had a bad break. You know what, let me go back two screens, because back here there was confidential information. Well, if it's confidential, it's gonna take a picture of my eye, because my iris is a better identifier than my fingerprint. It validates that it's me, and says, okay, it's Jim, give him access, and find out that Eric had, I had a substance abuse problem. Okay. okay, let me go home again, which I did. And uh, another example, which is fun, is uh, now I've got a checklist I've launched. This is fun because we had a, uh, we talked to some C-level execs at an energy company. And now, the way that, the way that uh, procedural adherence works today on an oil rig is that uh, individuals use a clipboard, a magic marker, and a piece of paper. That's how they capture information on checklists. So we showed them you could be wearing a pair of glasses, and now there's my glasses. Um, notice, by the way, I didn't calibrate. I can take the glasses on or off. I can move them around. It just keeps working. But I'm going to say check fire extinguisher. So what do I want to do? Well, I have find out that I'm supposed to verify that they're accessible. I'm going to mark it done. I'll continue. Now it says check fuel tank lines, check for leaks. But there's this picture here. Let me zoom into that. Okay, I can see it. Now I know what I'm supposed to do. So let me go back, and I'll mark that one done, and I'll go on to the next one. This one's interesting. You're going to be able to discern something about what's going on here at this point. Because now it says record pump pressure. It says, enter the pounds per square inch. So I'm gonna keep, see the keyboard right there? I'm gonna launch the keyboard, and I'm just gonna start to enter the numbers in order, one through five. So I'm entering with my eyes. In fact, let me go ahead and delete these, and uh, I'll delete all of them. And now we'll, someone give me some numbers, please. 400. Okay, I heard up in the front row, I heard 400. So we got 400 entered. So when I want to, again, I can leave, I keep 400, I mark it done, I'll leave the application, I'll go on. So a couple more things. Um, this one's interesting. Here we've got now a, uh, a text message, um, a, a text stream. So I'm texting. This is a text of my partner, Dave. It says, hey, how are you doing? He says, great. Do you have the demo working? I say, almost. He says, send me an iMessage if you can. And I say, 
let me go ahead and reply and I'll say, sure. So Dave is sitting in the audience um, and that bell right there was him getting the message. So in fact, let me do something different. Dave, this time I'm going to dictate and let's see if this transcribes what I'm saying in real time. So it did, I liked it. I could have edited it with my eyes as well. In this case, I just sent it. So now he'll get an actual message. Um, I'll tell you, I want to have some fun with how much time do I have left? Because um, what I wanted to do is see, I put Ori in here. <laughs> Ori, are you in the audience? And if you are, can you tell us if you get this message? And your name is kind of munged. <laughs> kind of money. <laughs> it's always a risk. So he, wherever he is, he just, is, he just received that message. But to hit him even harder, let's go to retail that somebody asked me about before. Let's turn this on. And in this case, I heard a bell. Uh -huh. In this case, um, what I've done now is I've turned on a camera so you can see where I'm looking. It's pretty bright up. It's pretty dark out there. But I'm going to do something here. Ooh, it's bright. Um, I'm going to uh, turn this on and I'm going to look at the picture and take a picture of the chocolates. So in this case, we took the picture, this is live, I'm connected to the net right now, and that image was sent up to a service online, it was looking for a match, if it found it, it'll give us a tag back, if it gives the tag back, we take it and give it to Amazon. That's live, that went back to Amazon, they gave us the information, we put it in the app, which is very small, we said for Roche, so let me go ahead and say, let's buy these, two and go on to ship it. Ah, let me ship it to Ori. There's his address, let's order it. Um, oh, 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 sorry, I can't let that happen. Sorry, I'm going to do one more time, because I do want to send him chocolates. That was my fault. OK, so same thing. It's going to look at the internet. We'll see if we're still connected rapidly. If it does, we'll get it. And um, um, sometimes, by the way, it pulls up random things. Let's hope that doesn't happen just now. And you can find the chocolates again. And we'll give it a few more seconds. I got it. OK, one more time. Let's ship it to Ori. Let's go, Ori. Let's ship it. OK, it's sending and confirming. And there the order's placed. OK, so I'll leave it. So Ori, wherever Ori is, he's going to get some chocolates delivered to his address. That's live. Um, the last thing I'll show is, is in the lower left corner, um, this one's interesting. This is we call gaze casting. And I know it's awfully dark here. But you can see now not only where my head is pointing, but you can see where I'm looking. Hello there. Hey there, guy. OK, so we've got people waving back at us. And if I want, I could pull a menu down and show what this would be like if I was now on a helicopter. So now I'm a surgeon, I, maybe I'm an EMT on a helicopter, and I'm looking at the chest, and the doctor back at headquarters or at the hospital says, don't look there, look down at his knees. That's where the contusion is, and so forth, and I could continue. So that's a demo.